I came by today to see if I can get a job. Most of what I came here for today, um, I couldn't find because most of the time they're hiring for people who have engineering degrees, which I don't have. Um, Maybe I should have done another major. For the most part, it's, I guess, a good opportunity for a lot of people, but I find myself just wandering around, um, asking for things that didn't interest me, or uh, I was basically what they weren't looking for. So I guess we'll keep searching. As long as I can remember, from kindergarten to high school, we learned everything from history, math, and science. My name is Joel Marcus. I am a senior here at the University of Texas at El Paso. I am 27 years old, and I am about to graduate. I am not going to lie, it's a little scary. But not scary like when I graduated high school. Yeah, sure, I don't look like the happiest 18-year-old, but at the time, I thought to myself, I'm too good for this city. All I wanted to do was to leave El Paso and live my life, and I was going to do it on my own terms. Yep, I was living the party life. From club to bar to hotel parties, and just good old house parties. I did all this and teaching gymnastics for about three years. Although I had a blast traveling and meeting random strangers, at one point, I was just worn out. Then one day when I was chilling with my friend Stephanie and her sister Ashley, her dad Joe asked me what I was doing with my life. And it was Joe who actually motivated me to go back to school. So I enrolled myself at the El Paso Community College. The world opens up to your dreams when you get your degree from El Paso Community College. Begin your dreams at the best place to start. I went back to school and I did. I applied myself to everything, school and, and books and studying. And here I have traveled around the world. I, uh, I'm sorry, I traveled around the, the country, won a couple of awards. Um, and now I'm here and I'm about to graduate. And I'm just asking myself, is it really worth it? Or I'm asking myself, what now? If I've grown as a person, yeah, I have. I think I'm entering a different chapter in my life. But I think what's more frustrating is that I guess I'm kind of scared because I don't know what's going to happen. At least the last four years, I was like, oh, okay, another year of school, same, same shit, different diaper. But now it's like I don't have a diaper and uh, I, don't, I have to use a big boy toilet. <laughs> Ah, uh, graduation. It's a time in our lives where we feel accomplished for our hard work. It is a ceremony of pride and hope. For some families, seeing their child graduate is a milestone. It is one of life's promising moments. But after your name has been called and you shake the president's hand and cheer with your fellow peers, one question every senior asks themselves is, what now? The what now question? has been asked for centuries. But what makes my situation significant is that graduate students like myself and across the nation are now entering a struggling economy where the unemployment rate is at 9.1%. And to make things even worse, the average college graduate leaves school with just over $24,000 in debt. The what now question carries more depth than ever. But just to make sure I'm not the only one getting cold feet as I embark into this real world, I paid a little visit to my old friend Stephanie Holtz. How was your weekend? Good. My name is Stephanie, Stephanie Holtz. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a pediatrician. I always wanted to help out the little kids, the babies. But then I realized how many years I'd have to go to school and then how much that school is going to cost me. And I decided, no, I don't want to do that anymore. But I did still want to help people. What drew me away was just realizing how many years, I, I guess it's being lazy or not being more ambitious, but I didn't want to be going to school for 10, 12 years. 
And then, you know, you watch all those movies and TV shows and they always talk about, you know, medical school and the loans you're going to have to get and how much debt they're in after they get out of medical school. I was like, I didn't want to do that. That just seemed too much of a, too much of a task, I don't know. My dad never went to college, so he was very adamant about, you have to go to school. Because they always say, you need a degree if you want to succeed in this life. Like, you need a, an education. So it was always in my head, you're going to college. I didn't have a choice. I can see, because I, I think he was right, because I can see the struggles he's going through right now as an adult, not having a degree in his, his profession, the security guard, you know, small business owner, back and forth. And I can see the hardships. If he had a degree, you know, it, it wouldn't be that way for him. So I can see, like, the need for a degree, but I just knew I had to get a degree. After speaking with Stephanie, I noticed her and I shared the same aspirations regarding a college education. But one thing she said stuck yeah, to me. But right now I feel like I'm going to school for my parents. <laughs> this is just all the damn degree. <laughs> I'm done, get off my ass. Like. <laughs> I began to realize why we go to college in the first place. Is it something we want to do? Do we go to college because our parents expect us to? Regardless of why we go to college, the future remains bleak for any generation preceding the Echo Boomers. But there is hope. As a student, there are ways to prepare ourselves post-graduation. Here at my university, we have a career service center available to all students and alumni. So like a last minute senior, I thought I'd check it out and maybe get some information. As a first time, I guess, visitor, what, is, what do I need to know as far as coming here to the Career Center? You must create a JobMine account first. And JobMine, what it is, it's basically our online database of all of our job postings, volunteer positions, full-time, part-time, professional positions, and also um, postgraduate positions. It's really easy. It takes like five minutes to create your account, and you can browse through all of our job postings that we have on there. As a student, what would be my purpose for coming here to the Career Center? Well, most students come to Career Center because they would like interviewing skills and job postings, information. And you know, most students come to college to invest their time and effort to get a job after graduation. That's their main goal. Is there a specific time you guys are looking for students to come visit here? It's never too early to start thinking about your career. Most students think, oh, I won't worry about going to Career Center and getting my resume done until my senior year or until my last semester. But in reality, you need to start preparing very, very soon. Even your first day of class, come visit us. You know, look at what's, what resources we have for you, when to start your internships, when to look for jobs. It's never too early to start thinking about your career. And you've already thought about it if you're here at UTEP. Sada, you mentioned that you were a senior too, right? Yes. Yeah, and I'm you're about to graduate. Yes, I graduated in December next Sweet. month. Sweet. Uh, me too. Yay. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I guess because I, I used, I barely started using the Career Service Center like my senior year, and I know mm -hmm. like you said that's not a good idea, but I guess in my position, um, and I guess for other seniors who didn't really know about the Career Center, mm -hmm. I guess what would, advice would you give, you know, for people on our boat. So as you as a senior that just knew about our services, I would definitely recommend that you come in and use as much as possible before you graduate. Okay. It'll probably help you a lot. Okay. Um, any any last encouraging words for any seniors or um, just good luck and remember that we're here for you and um, come visit us, University Career Center, let us be your career connection. Yeah. So after four and a half years I thought it would be a good idea to go visit Joe and thank him for everything he's done and see if he had any last remaining words of wisdom. After being in the real world and uh, the curriculum that was available to me, uh, I, got, I, I got a business degree. Uh, at that time, you were, they would train you to be a cog in the corporate machine. Uh, which I highly resented because by the time I was a junior in college I was thinking about taking over here and uh, they had no courses or anything of that ilk to uh, fit into uh, an entrepreneurial lifestyle. Uh, I was very disappointed with college. I mean what I learned, I learned by the University of Hard Knocks and uh, the curriculum did not do me any good at all. Uh, I, I saw there was a whole lot of waste 
if I thought I was going to be doing, if I was going to college for a career, it was, a, it was very much a waste. Uh, they say that's not why you should go to school. Well, like I say, it says if you want to be a doctor, you don't, you know, they'll teach you how to become a doctor, an engineer, or an accountant. But if you're going to run a business, they won't teach you anything like that. I didn't, I did not fit into their mold. And so I was at the end of it, I mean, uh, you know, 2020 hindsight, I question the value of uh, a higher education, especially in what I'm doing now. I guess now we're here. Um, do you have any inspiring words for me now that I'm graduating? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but remember, you know, remember I had that answer, right? Yeah. Okay, you never know when you're going to die. Okay, you get one ride on this merry-go-round. Okay, you ride it for all that it's worth. Live life. It's a gift given to you. The worst thing you can do to someone that gives you a gift is not use it to throw it back in your face. You live life. Don't be a cognitive machine. Be yourself. Always be your own best. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome, Jim. Thank you for the interview, Jim. You're welcome.